Okay, so I was going to use the ColourPop Element of Surprise palette for this um, second go around because I really like the colors in that one. But I'm actually going to use my Urban Decay um, Jean Michel Basquiat uh, palette. This is in, I think it's Gold Grio. Gold Griot? Gold Grio? I don't know. To get started, I am going to go ahead and prime my eyelids. My Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Light. I almost said white. This is not white. So I'm just going to put a little bit. That was a lot of it. I'm going to put some of this on my eyelids. This is going to help our colors stick and stay all day. And in my last video, I actually then powdered my entire eyelid like you normally would do so your shadows don't get uh, patchy, so they blend easily and smoothly across your eyelid. But since I'm going to do a cut crease, I don't want to create too many layers on my eyelid space where I'll be uh, putting concealer again after I've done my crease shades. Um, so what I'm going to do is just powder like from the crease up and keep this eyelid space clear of eyeshadow as much as I can until I go back to cut the crease. I'm going to go with this top shade Enigma. And I'm just going to go from my brow bone up with this. And pat it into my skin. This will help our crease shades blend easily and they won't get patchy or stick to the concealer. I'm just wanting to keep it away from my eyelid because I will have to go back in to cut the eyelid space and I don't want concealer, powder, concealer, more powder. So that's why I am just doing it from the crease up. Let's go ahead and start with levitation. And I'm just going to use the Urban Decay um, brush that came in it because it is a nice little fluffy blending brush. And again, in my last video I did, um, I, I wasn't really sure where to cut the crease. I thought because I had hooded lids, maybe I needed to cut it, cut it lower. Um, but actually, because I have hooded lids, I need to cut it up higher than this crease so you can see it when my eyes are open. So I need to actually go up above my fold here so you can see it when my eyes are open. So I feel like that's going to be like a super high cut. Um, so it might look really abnormal when my eyes are closed. But I think it will look correctly when my eyes are open. So that is what we're going to try today. So I really need to blend these up much further than I think I would. And I did see someone, because I watched a couple of videos, someone um, actually flicked her colors out, like into a cat eye almost. Maybe, let's try that. Let's get, let's get a little bit crazy and do some of that. I don't really do like cat eye type looks. I feel like I'm getting really crazy now with this over here. Kind of really deepening this up, almost like a halo eye. Because I think it'll give some nice dimension to the eye look. I like that. Okay, now I have to do the other eye. That, that took like forever for one eyeball. Sorry, I'm not sure. I really hate it when Alexa thinks I'm talking to her. When I'm not, it freaks me out. So now I'm gonna go in to this warmer, like peanut buttery shade. It's not even actually the color of peanut butter. This is way warm for peanut butter. But I'm gonna go into this shade called Not For Sale. Okay, I'm gonna use my Luxie 231 Small Tapered Blending Brush. It's just a touch um, more tapered. It's got more of a little point on it. So I'm just gonna dip that directly into this shade here. And then I'm going to focus this like almost right on my brow bone. So I'm going to lift my eyebrows up and go right here, kind of like way up above my crease since I'll be cutting my crease so high. So I'm almost making like a faux crease. Just 
really blending it in. It's a little patchy right here on this tail. That's mostly because I didn't put any concealer there, so it's just directly on my skin. This blending part's going really well, I feel like. It's really mapping out the shape I want really well. You can almost see where that cut crease is going to be going. Going to be going? It's going to be placed? That makes more sense. Cut in the crease. That's where we're at now. So again, we're gonna use this flat shader brush. This is what I'm gonna use to apply my concealer to cut the crease. So I'm gonna use the same Maybelline Fit Me and put a little bit on my brush. So I'm gonna start by putting some kind of here in the center of my eye. Then I'm gonna open. I'm gonna open my eyes, let that transfer, and then close. So. I'm gonna make my cut way up here where that transferred. And this takes all of my concentration, so I'm probably gonna be quiet now. That looks awesome. I shouldn't have said that, knock on wood. I'm gonna jinx myself now. way out there. I think I'm gonna go up just a little bit more. Yeah, just a little higher. So now you can definitely see that cut crease when my eye is open. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the other crease. And this was my good eye. Like, I'm right-handed, this is my right eye. This left eye might be a different story. So the key to this is obviously going slowly. getting a little nervous because I feel like it's getting out of hand. Ooh! Do those look matched pretty well? I mean, my eyes are two different shapes. I'm looking straight forward. It still needs to go up a little bit higher here. Okay, I think that is about as close as I'm going to get. All right, guys. I'm real excited about this one. I mean, I look super crazy right now. Like, super crazy. But I'm really excited about how this cut crease is freaking looking. I've got an e.l.f. brush, and it's kind of like a flat shader brush, but it's not flat. It's a little bit fluffier than that. Let me spray, I'm gonna spray it down. 
And I got the new uh, Smashbox primer water for my birthday. We're all excited about it. So I'm going to spray. I haven't actually used my primer water yet, so this is my first time using it. Okay, I got my brush a little bit wet, a little bit damp. I'm gonna go in with Influence, which is the bronzy shade. I'm gonna tap out my concealer a little bit, just so it's not super tacky right there. I'm going to switch brushes over to this kind of flat shader brush. It's not super flat. This is also from my BH Cosmetic Brushes. I'm going to spritz this once and focus that on like the tip of the brush. I kind of missed, but missed. Get it? Because it's a misting spray and I missed it. Unintentional puns are the best puns. Okay, dipping back into Influence, focusing that color mainly on the tip of this brush. I'm gonna go in. I kind of really enjoy doing cut creases because it almost feels like I'm painting. Like, I need to be precise. And so I'm anchoring my, my um, hand to my lip and just really carving out this edge like you would in a painting where you're trying to draw a nice curved edge. And it's like, soothing to me. And you know, that's why I enjoy makeup so much is because it, it truly is like art to me. It's just another art form. And it's so just relaxing and enjoyable and a way to get your creativity out. This color is kind of changing almost once I got it up there. Like it looks like I put a totally different color up next to that line. Look at this eye. I'm really impressed. But this is just my second attempt at doing a cut crease. Okay, so I'm gonna go over into the other eye. I'm just gonna go ahead and use this brush for the whole eye, so I don't have to worry about going back and forth. I feel super Egyptian with these colors. So we went real Egyptian. Why, why did I go so far out? I feel like I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna wipe some of that away when I do my face makeup, cause it's a little bit much, it's a little bit much. But guys, I'm really impressed. And this eyeshadow color has so much dimension like on my lid, it's like a really nice shimmery bronze. And then up like from where my cut crease is and then into the shadow, like there's a like almost a separation where it looks like a dirty like penny bronze copper shade. That's really cool. Now I want to add a little bit of gold down the center, um, which is called crown here. Um, 
I'm not going to use any water because I'm saving this sucker. It's expensive. So I'm going to take a little bit crown on my brush. I'm lightly patting this in the center of my eye. So I don't want it to be like too obvious and yellow. I just want a touch of gold in this look. Because I'm also going to place this in the inner corner. Just a little bit. Just enough to kind of give it a golden sheen. So I'm going to go ahead and use this same brush and then that same gold. Pop it right in the inner corner. I'll probably go over this with whatever highlighter I use also. So this is the cut crease up close before I've finished any of my other makeup. I think I did a fairly decent job evening them out and making them look um, the same. Alright, do I look different or what? Yeah, I look different. So I finished the rest of my face and I did clean up um, just the crazy wing that we had going on because it was just a little too much for me. Um, I'm not going anywhere today, but I didn't really like the super winged out look. I have a little powder on my face though. Um, I'm going to go ahead and finish up the eyes and then apply a lip color, but this is totally giving me like Egyptian Cleopatra vibes and I'm not mad at it. It's not something I'd wear every day, but like if I was going to like some sort of themed party or like Grecian goddess for Halloween or something, totally would do this look. Love it a lot. I don't celebrate Halloween, like I don't get dressed up and go do anything, but super cute so i used my anastasia beverly hills glow kit and sun dipped as my highlight i did mostly summer but i also mixed a little bit of moonstone so what i'm going to do is take this brush that we used on the lid and i'm going to take just a little bit of summer and pop that oh that was a little too much of summer Pop that in my inner corners to give that gold um, a brighter feel. Because that gold is actually quite deep that's in that palette. And then I need to finish out the bottom lash line. I was like, I don't know, what do you call that? Uh, I'm going to go in with Levitation and my Urban Decay um, dual ended brush. I'm going to use this small dome brush and go right under my lash line. Actually, I'm going to go flip it and use this blending brush side because I do want to bring it down a little bit more. And I'd rather keep that red brown shade up closer to my eye. So I'm going to blend them both out down here. Don't mind my faces I make. Kind of want to blend it into this wing we did a little bit. And my wings don't match up like exactly, but they're pretty close. All I did was take a makeup wipe and like use my fingernail and just drew, drew a line with the makeup wipe to get that super straight edge. So I'm going to go in with Not For Sale. I'm going to use the domed part. Focus this on the outer portion of the eye. Up to about halfway. 
I'm gonna go in with another e.l.f. brush. It's just like a domed blending eye brush. And I'm gonna go in with Sucker Punch, which is this darker brown. So this is the shade we have all over our lid um, influence. I'm gonna go in with Sucker Punch, which is a little bit darker and has like little gold glitters in it. And I'm gonna get it on like the edge of this brush. I don't know if you can see that. So it's like on the edge of it, not on the top of the dome. And I'm gonna drag this um, to connect with our kind of liner, our wing that we have. I don't really want the bottom line to be really red and warm. I think that adds a nice smokiness to it. Now I'm going to take a clean brush and kind of sweep some of this shadow away. So I still need to do a mascara, but I'm actually going to film another Learn With Me video where I try and put on falsies. But I am going to go ahead and put on a lip. I have five ColourPop lippies that I picked out that I thought would look really good with this. Um, one of them's a metallic shade, which I think would be absolutely stunning. It's called Maneater. I think this would be so stunning, but it is warm and I kind of have warm and cool tones. Teeny Tiny, I think is too purple. And then I have Kapow, which again, I think is too gray and purple. So I have Chili Chili, which is like a really deep, not really a burnt orange. It's like a, it needs to be mixed up. So it doesn't really look like this too. But it's a really dark, deep, like, red-brown. And then I have Strip, which is a satin lip, but it is a nice nude, which I think will complement this look really well too. But sometimes I can look a little dead when I wear it. So, I think I'm going to go with Chili Chili. And Chili Chili was, like, one of the first colors where I was like, I have to buy that one. That one looks so cute. Uh, but it's actually a lot darker than I was wanting it to be on my skin tone, but I think it'll look really good with this look. So, let's put this on. So this is definitely not as red as I thought it was. This is definitely more purple, but it works. I put some falsies on and some mascara. If you would like to go check out my other Learn With Me video on how to put false lashes on, I will link that up above and in the description box below. Um, but I'm definitely getting like Cleopatra vibes now. These lashes make me feel like Cleopatra. And I totally feel Egyptian and I love it. So, um... Yeah, we're going with it. I'm going to go ahead and set the entire face now that I have all of my makeup on. And I'm going to use my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. It's great. It's good stuff. I'm really happy with how this cut crease went. I'm so surprised that like after that first cut crease, my second cut crease went so well. But I definitely think the... Two things that helped me the most was going slow and, you know, really focusing on getting a nice line, getting a nice shape for my cut crease, and also making sure I go up high enough on my own eyelid to still be able to see that cut crease when my eye is open. Um, if you have hooded eyes like me, I think it's a really great tip that if you put concealer on your eyelid and then open your eyes all the way and look up, so that there is that transfer. That kind of helps you map out where your cut crease needs to be. And then also go just a little bit above that so then when your eyes are open and you're working when your eyes are open, you know where to make the actual cut crease. Um, because it's not actually gonna be in your crease if you have hooded eyelids because your crease disappears when you open your eyes. But I'm really, I'm really surprised that it turned out so good. Like I'm not just trying to pat myself on the back, but I'm just shocked. I'm shocked. I'm pleasantly surprised. And I really like it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave. 
Let me know what you would like to see next. Give me some suggestions on what you would like to see in this um, series that I'm trying. Thank you guys so much for being here, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. So now... I'm going to stretch. Think, I think that is a really great... can't talk. A really great tip. My lips look lopsided. I'm going to have to fix that. Which you know means it's gonna look worse. Bottom lash line. I was like, I don't know, what do you call that? I think I was gonna say bottom brow line. I don't have bottom brows. Wouldn't that be weird? Having eyebrows like above and below your eyeball? That'd be really creepy. Would they would you just call that beard, wouldn't you? Like if your beard came up that high? Anyway.